In this tutorial, we'll work with 3D objects, add animation, get acquainted with the advanced widget settings, study manual widget positioning, and working with layers. As a result, we will create a spacecraft interface for exploring planets in the solar system. Let's configure the page background and title. Select the page and go to the settings in the inspector. We'll use the image for the page background. Click the background image and select the galaxy file from the background folder. Now add a dashboard to our spaceship. This is an overlay image that will go over all widgets. We'll use the HUD file for this. Go to the font settings. Make sure that the page is currently selected in the sidebar. I'll increase the font size and change the font to a more space-like. This font is in the fonts file. To install the font, Double-click it and select Install. You'll have to restart the editor to see the installed font in the list. Then we'll configure the navigation bar. Go to the Toolbar Settings tab. I'll increase the panel size and make it transparent by setting the alpha channel value to zero. Disable panel buttons in the Buttons tab. Let's call the page Mars. To do that, click the page title in the sidebar twice Type the text and press Enter. It's time to add the planet now. For this, we'll use a 3D model of a sphere and the planet's surface texture. Click Add a 3D Model Widget. In the inspector, open a tab with Widget Settings. Select the Sphere 3D Model in the 3D folder. We see that a gray ball has appeared in the center of the widget. Let's scale it up by using the Scale field. Add the Mars texture from the Textures folder. Now make the planet rotate. In the Auto Rotation field, select Y, Rotation Axis, and define Rotation Speed. Now we'll remove the widget background. In the Appearance tab, set Transparency for the background color. There's still the white frame remaining. Set the frame width to zero. Remove indents. We need no title here. Disable it in the Font Settings tab by unchecking the Show Title box. Make this setting default for the entire project. All subsequently added widgets will have a transparent background and no title. To do this, select the widget, go to the Format section of the main menu and select Apply Current Style to Project. Continue designing the spaceship interface. Add a virtual screen. We'll use the gallery widget for that, although there will only be one image. As you can see, the newly added widget has shifted the existing one. This is because the automatic widget arrangement has been selected. I will set the widget position manually and don't want it to change automatically. Undo the last action by pressing Ctrl and Z. Disable automatic box arrangement. In the gallery again, Find the HUD radio file in the Backgrounds folder. As you can see, the widget has appeared in the center of the screen. Let's configure it. The image is cropped now. Let's fit it in. Now I will scale up the image and try to match it to the size of the planet. Press Escape to deselect. I've made the planet to overlap the image. This is because the new widget is in the bottom layer. You can see in the sidebar that the 3D model is above the gallery. Let's move the gallery up. To do this, select the widget and click the Forward 1 button at the sidebar bottom. Press Escape to deselect. Now the planet is below the virtual screen. Let's add photos of the planet. We'll use the gallery widget for this. Select all photos from the Mars folder in the Photos folder. Add thumbnails of the photos. In the icons list, specify horizontal. Give the widget a high tech appearance. We'll use masks and overlays for this widget. If the widget is not selected, select it in the sidebar. Open the appearance tab in the inspector. For masks, specify the photo mask file from the backgrounds file. Select the fit filling mode to fit the image into the widget completely. The mask is a black and white image where black areas make widget transparent and white areas opaque. Add the overlay image using the photo overlay file. 
Set the filling mode to fit. Set the overlay mode to addition. Place the widget to the right of the planet. Change the size if needed. Drag it with the left mouse button. Now I'll add a perspective effect. Go to the Geometry tab. In the Rotation Y field, enter negative 35 degrees. This would rotate the widget relative to the Y axis. I will also rotate the widget around the Z axis. Then I will slightly adjust the widget position and size. We'll place the information about the planet symmetrically to the left. We'll use the gallery for this. Find the Planet Info file in the Backgrounds folder. Add Perspective. We'll use the same values, although inverted. Add a box with the information about the planet mass and radius. We'll use the Mass Info file as background. For the mass and radius values, two text widgets will be used. We don't need any pictures here, therefore we set the image area size to zero. Enter the text. Make the font brighter in the Font tab. Scale the widget down and move it to the required spot. Copy the widget. If the widget is selected, press Ctrl-C and then Ctrl-V. Move the copied widget and change the text. I'll center align the text and make it smaller. Our interface is almost ready. We only need to add animated items. To do this, we use the Animation widget. For this widget, we can specify a set of images that will be played sequentially or select a video file that would be converted into a set of images. Select all images in the Radar folder. Make the playback looped and automatic. Move the widget to the top right corner. Add a second animation. This will be a speedometer. Select all images in the speedometer folder. Move the widget to the bottom left corner. Add Perspective in the Geometry tab. Copy the widget to the right corner. Rotate it symmetrically. Move the planet widget to the bottom layer. Don't forget to give sensible names to items. This would greatly facilitate navigation in the project.
Thus, we have finished by designing the page and widgets. Now we have to check the items for interactivity. By default, if you click widgets, they expand to full screen, making it possible to interact with them, browse photos, or rotate 3D models. In this project, I want all widgets to remain in their places. To do this, we'll have to disable the widget maximization function. Select all widgets in the sidebar. Go to the Interaction tab in the Inspector and uncheck Maximizable. Now the widgets don't expand and become interactive. See what we've got here? The Gallery widget is over the planet. We can't rotate the planet because the gallery intercepts events. Still, it's just an image. There's no need to browse through it. Let's just restrict interaction with it. Select the widget and uncheck Interactive in the Interaction box. Now we can rotate the planet. It's about time we save the project. We still have seven planets to add. Copy the current page seven times. Select the page, press Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to paste. Go to the next page. Change the title to Earth. Select the widget with the planet and replace the texture. Use the Earth file from the Textures folder. Replace Mars photos with Earth photos. Use files in the Earth folder within the Photos folder. Enter the Earth mass and radius. Do the same for the remaining six pages. Now, we'll add the page containing all the planets. Copy the first page and go to it. Delete any unnecessary items. Just select the item and press Delete. Now, copy here planets from other pages. Without navigating to a page, open it. Select the required widget and press Ctrl C. After that, select the page where you want to paste the widget and press Ctrl V. Repeat it for the remaining pages. Now we have all planets on the same page. I'll change the size of the items in rough proportion to actual relative size of the planets.
I will also make the planet expand to full screen upon click. Select all planets. Check Maximizable in the Interaction tab. Leaf through the pages. Doesn't look too impressive. Let's find a more suitable option for the animated page change. Go to the Animation tab in the Presentation Inspector. Specify the transformation style for the page animation. Now, the widgets will shrink and increase with every page change. I'll also decrease animation speed and add a zoom effect. 